and it, once it gets you're like you got a chokehold. Cool. It's got a chokehold. Yes, cool it's body. worse than Instagram. Yeah. It's bad. Yeah. So all the TikToks are on Instagram too. So when you go on Instagram, yeah, so you're they're they're there. Content. I stay in the I stay in the feed. <laughs> Right you and your static posts? Yeah. You and your non-carousel posts? Yeah. Different. Good, good for you. you hit like 2019 different, you know? <laughs> so, guys, congratulations on this project. Oh, and you, so you get to come to Comic-Con to talk about it. Yes, it, this is literally so freaking cool. I've never been to Comic-Con, so it's like so cool to like be here, especially for like a show that I really love. So it's awesome. Yeah. Yeah. This is, uh, I was about to say my fifth year, but no, I haven't been here since 2017. It's been five years. Uh, but the first time I came was such a blur. This time is just so cool and memorable because it's such an iconic show that I'm a part of. It's so sick. Yeah. Now let's talk about the participation in Hamster and Gradle because it's super funny, comical. I have, we have your character that's kind of like struggling, trying to t figure out what's right and wrong for these two yeah. superheroes. And then you get to report doing my job. Uh, I do. Can talk about right it? Now. I don't know if my character was based off you, but you kind of have the same hair as her right oh, now. Thank you. But yours is better. No, just to the animators. <laughs> yeah. But uh, <laughs> no, Veronica Hill. She's a reporter. So anything that hands or Hansel, whoop, Hamster and Gretel. You know what it's based off of. Hamster and Gretel go through. She reports on. So if there's not a ruckus being caused, she's willing to cause one herself. So she has something to do. But uh, yeah, that's Veronica Hill. Yeah. Um. Uh. So yeah. Kevin is just kind of like. Uh, so. I'm not ruining ruining anything because this is like literally the whole plot of the story. Basically, he thought he was gonna get superpowers. The hamster got superpowers instead. So he's definitely, you know, wishes that he could be a superhero and really so badly wants to be a part of their whole thing, but also loves his sister and is like very trying to support her as well throughout the whole thing. And always trying to use the muscles. <laughs> yeah, yeah, you know, like he's he's yeah, yeah. Kevin's, you know, he's the muscle. You know what I mean? Yeah, that's, he's the muscle guy. That's for sure. Yeah. Yeah. I think that was my favorite part of Veronica Hill saying like, and now there's a small boy here trying to do something and is doing nothing. Yeah. Like, <laughs> yeah. It's my favorite part. <laughs> well, I would say you're the brain muscle. In there. Yeah. yeah. I mean, sometimes he comes up with bad ideas, though. Yeah, sometimes I'm like, ah, man, yeah, he's not doing this. But, you know, look, he's really great besides uh, when it, it comes to... Uh, his crush on his kids when he is, talks about his crush, he just does not function at all, oh. just like real life. Oh, that's cute. <laughs> oh. <laughs> that's based on real life, yeah. <laughs> yeah. Yep, and it kind of is like Dan has uh, he, he's put so much of his like life and personal experiences into the show, and that's yeah. what's so cool to see it on screen and to see his love for it because that's what shines through. Yeah, did you both get to record separately? Yeah, yeah, we all recorded separately, so it's like, it's, this is actually our first time all meeting. We met 20 minutes ago. Yeah. Pretty much. <laughs> Pretty much. It does not look like... 45. It does not look like... Oh, thank you. Hey, we got yeah. the answer, we got the answer. We, you know, we tried, you know, we, we talked in the, in the bus, we we're like, all right, we're going we're gonna to act like we're friends now, <laughs> and then, you know, no. But it, genuinely, everyone's so cool, and like, everyone that's part of this is so amazing, yeah. and I've heard so many amazing things about them through Dan, yeah. so, because he's like the constant in all of our circles yeah. is Dan, so, yeah. So for me, from watching the trailer and the clip, I was thinking about my pet. Who would I want, who, what, what would be my pet? Who's the name of my pet that would be my partner in crime? Oh, your pet. Your yes. Pet? So what's the name of your pet? Phoebe Wall, I don't know if I could, I'm gonna say it. Phoebe Waller Bridge. That's my name of my dog. So Phoebe Waller Bridges is an amazing British actress and I named my dog after her. She had a show called Fleabag. No, you didn't see it? Okay. But uh, that's my dog's name. <laughs> that's my dog's name, and I love her. So if she could fight by my side, she has, like, a little lazy eye, and she's just, like, super indifferent towards me, so she doesn't really care, like, how I feel. She's my emotional support dog with no emotions. Anyways, um, <laughs> she would just be, like, there, and I'd be saving the world, and she'd be like... Yeah, she'd be like, cool. <laughs> she has dead eyes, like yeah. hamster. A little bit like hamster. Yo, yo! Actually, dead eyes, yeah. like, you know what I mean? So like, it just works. Like, mm, it works. Yeah, it yeah. works. It's a balance. Um, I have... I have two dogs and two cats so if I had to choose one it would be because I, I know she would be like the best superhero because she's like so eager to do everything she, it's, her name is Genesis she's my baby I love her but if like I could choose one of my like my cat would be the super villain so like yeah she's like yeah she's a menace but I love her so dearly so yeah that would be it Oh, you'd be fighting against her, but you love her. Yeah, yeah, exactly. Yeah, yeah, it's like, yeah. Like you know what I'm saying? Look, let's pitch it to Dan right now. <laughs> Dan, where are you at? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> well, thank you so much for sharing. Congratulations. No, thank, thank you, you so much. much. Thank Appreciate you. you. Thank you. Thank, thank you. you.